Hello everyone, welcome to Homework Help. If you find the video useful, please subscribe to the channel. So in this video, we'll solve this problem using the concept of vector addition. So given that the magnitude of vector u is 8 and magnitude of vector v is 10 and the angle between vectors u and v is 60 degrees, determine the magnitude of u minus v. So let's start with part A. So the first step is to draw a diagram to show the given vectors and the angle between them. So let's assume this is vector u and the vector v is this. Now the angle between them is 60 degrees. Now we have to find the magnitude of vector u minus v. So the first step is to show vector u minus v. So vector u minus v can be shown as this third side in this triangle. So like this. Now how do we know if this is vector u minus v? So we can derive that. So let's assume this third side represents vector x. So our vector equation for this triangle is vector u equals vector v plus vector x because we can go from point A to point B either directly in the direction of vector u or we can go through point C. So vector AB is equal to vector AC plus vector CB. So that's how we get this vector equation. Now we can isolate vector x by subtracting vector v from both sides. So vector v is on the right side get cancelled out. So therefore vector x is vector u minus vector v. Now we are given that the magnitude of vector u Is equal to so that means the length of side AB is 8 units and we are given that the magnitude of vector V is 10 that means the length of side AC is 10 units now we have to find the magnitude of U minus V which is represented by a vector X that means we have to find the length of side BC in this vector triangle and for that we'll have to use cosine law because we know the length of two sides and the included angle and we have to find the length of the third side. So let's start with the cosine law equation. So this is the magnitude of u minus v which is the length of side bc. Now we can sub in the values. Now the magnitude of u is 8. Now 
Now we can evaluate these terms. 8 square is 64 plus 100. Now 2 times 8 is 16. 16 times 10 is 160. And cos of 60 is 0 0.5. So the value of this whole term will be 80. Now we can combine these terms. So I get 84. Now we can apply square root to both sides. So on the left side, the square root on the square cancel each other out. Now, square root of 84 can be simplified into 4 times 21 and square root of 4 is 2. So we can simplify this expression as 2. So this is the magnitude of u minus v. So this should be the final answer for part A. Now we can analyze part B. So in part B we have to find the direction of u minus v relative to vector u. So as we figured out in part A, so vector x represents u minus v and vector u is the side AB in the triangle. So that means we have to find this angle theta in this triangle ABC. And for that, we can use sine law. So we can start by writing the equation of sine law. Now we have to find angle B. So we'll have to use angle B and side B in one ratio. And we know angle A and we know the length of side BC. So we can use the other ratio for A. Now we can sub in the values. So side B here represents vector V. So magnitude of vector V. And angle A is 60. And side A is vector u minus v. So the magnitude of vector u minus v. Now we can sub in the values for these magnitudes. Now we can isolate sine theta by cross multiplying the 10. Now we can evaluate this expression. So 10 times sine 60 divided by 2 times square root of 21. So I got 0 0.949449. Now we can do the inverse of sine. So I got 70.9 degrees, which can also be rounded to 
71 degree. So that's the angle between vector u and vector u minus v. Now we can analyze part c. So in part c, we have to find the unit vector in the direction of u minus v. Now the formula for unit vector is equal to the vector for which we have to find the unit vector which is u minus v divided by the magnitude of the vector. Now we found the magnitude in part A. So in the numerator, we do not know the value of the vector u minus v, so we'll keep it as u minus v. And the magnitude of this vector is 2 square root 21. So this can be the answer for the unit vector. And we can also write it as so there's another way we can present our answer. So we are done with part C. Now we can analyze part D. So we have to find the magnitude of 5u plus 2 v. So the first step here is to show vectors 5u and 2v based on the given information. Now the magnitude of vector u is 8. So if we multiply the vector u by 5, so the magnitude of the vector 5u will be 5 times 8 which is equal to 40. Similarly, the magnitude of vector 2v So now we can draw these vectors So this can be vector 5u And now we can show vector 2v. The angle between these vectors will be the same 60 degrees because we are not changing the vectors, we are just doing scalar multiplication and that is making the vectors uh, bigger so their magnitude is changing their direction is not changing now we have to find the magnitude of 5u plus 2v so we can use the parallelogram method to show the vector 5u plus 2v and then we'll find its magnitude so as per the parallelogram method this diagonal of the parallelogram will represent the vector 5u plus 2v. So this is vector 2v. Now, in a parallelogram, the adjacent angles are supplementary angles. So, since this corner angle so A is 60 degrees, the angle B will be equal to 120 degrees. So, this sum should be 180 degrees. And this diagonal 
AC represents 5U plus 2V. Now we can use cosine law to find the magnitude of 5U plus 2V or the length of this diagonal. So we know the magnitude of vector AB or 5U is 40 and the magnitude of vector BC or 2V or the length of side BC is 20. So as per the cosine law equation, So we know the two sides and the included angle, which is 120 degrees. Now we can sub in the values. So 5u is 40. And cos of 120 degrees is equal to negative 0 0.5. Now we can evaluate these terms. So 40 square is 1600 and 20 square is 400 so the sum is 2000 and then negative 2 times 40 times 20 times negative 0 0.5 is plus 800 Now we can apply square root to both sides. Now square root of 2800 can be simplified by breaking up 2800 into 400 times 7. And square root of 400 is 20. So this should be the final answer for the magnitude of 5u plus 2v. So these are the steps you have to keep in mind to solve a problem like this one. So I hope you'll find this video useful. Please share it, like it and subscribe to Homework Help. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Bye.